middle of the 20th century and nearly a quarter of the 21st century, the Boeing Corporation has been the undisputed king of the skies. That is until late in 2019 when an upstart manufacturer you may have heard of named Airbus overtook Boeing as the new king of the passenger aircraft manufacturing market. However, Airbus didn't gain total air superiority over Boeing, because when it comes to moving people, Airbus may be the new number one, but when it comes to moving cargo around the world, that crown belongs to Boeing. But now comes rumblings that Airbus may be coming after Boeing's slice of the cargo pie to become the undisputed champion of all time with the possibility of creating an Airbus A350 freighter. But the question is, can they? We talk about it next on Maximus. Greetings everybody, Maximus here. I hope you're all doing well wherever you may be all around this great big beautiful world of ours. So it's an undisputed fact that Airbus has overtaken Boeing as the number one manufacturer of commercial passenger aircraft in the world. But I have a question for you. Do you think that would have happened if Boeing didn't shoot themselves in the foot with the whole MAX disaster? Let me know in the comments. However, with that debate aside, Airbus owns the number one spot in the passenger market, but when it comes to moving air freight, Airbus lags so far behind that it's almost inconceivable to think that they can catch up to Boeing's dominance in that market. But according to Reuters, it looks like Airbus is certainly going to try and do just that. Airbus has been actively consulting with their customers in an attempt to gauge what interest there is for a dedicated wide-body Airbus freighter. The proposed A350 freighter will compete head-to-head -head with the Boeing 777 freighter. The 777 is yet another member of the dominant freighter lineup that allows Boeing to rule the air cargo industry with its overwhelming freighter fleet. Overall, Boeing has delivered 544 wide-body freighters since 2000, including the 747-400, the 747-8, the 767, and the aforementioned 777. And that doesn't include their passenger-converted freighters. And Boeing still has 94 unfilled cargo plane orders as of February 2021. And those numbers are just for the wide bodies. Boeing also has 757 and 737 passenger conversion models as well. Meanwhile, Airbus has only delivered 142 cargo aircraft, 104 A300s, and 38 A330 freighter aircraft, which is Airbus's only active production freighter. But Airbus hasn't had a single order or delivery for the A330 freighter since February of 2017, when Airbus made only one delivery to Turkish Airlines. Airbus says around 200 A300s and 30 A310 freight aircraft were actively operated as of March 2021. They also have 38 cargo-only A330s and 10 additional A330 aircraft that underwent passenger-to-freighter conversion. According to Planespotters.net, that brings the total fleet of Airbus wide-body freighters to around 382 aircraft. So, can the A350 freighter be the pot of gold at the end of the cargo rainbow for Airbus? Well, first you have to determine if there is even a need for another jumbo freighter in the Boeing-dominated market. Prior to 2020, the answer would have been no. However, during the pandemic, with passenger aircraft grounded worldwide, the demand for cargo aircraft skyrocketed due to the need for medical supplies. But even more impactful was the fact that 7 billion people were stuck at home with nothing to do but binge watch Netflix and buy stuff. Lots of stuff. Online stuff. And that added to the demand for cargo aircraft. So much so that airlines all over the world were temporarily converting their passenger aircraft to cargo aircraft to profit from that demand and more importantly keep their airlines afloat financially during the pandemic. According to the International Civil Aviation Organization data, the ICAO, there was a 48% increase in the demand for air cargo in 2020. While narrow-body and wide-body passenger aircraft saw a 588% and a 686% decrease in traffic. But the big question is will the demand remain that high, especially considering just a year before, in 2019, analysts said that was the worst year for air cargo since the financial crisis of 2009. 
Well, one thing about us humans, we are all creatures of habit, quite Pavlovian to be more precise. We were all Pavlov's dogs in 2020, and we have been repeatedly stimulated into a new lifestyle of shopping and playing from home. And I personally think that conditioned response will take on a more permanent role in reshaping international commerce in the future. So for the sake of argument, let's say the demand will be there. So that's another positive sign in Airbus's favor. According to Boeing's most recent commercial market outlook, Boeing estimates that between 2020 and 2039, the air cargo industry should see 2,430 freighter deliveries. 930 of those would be wide-body aircraft, and the rest would be passenger-to-freighter conversions. So then a natural question would be, what is Airbus waiting for? Besides the fact that the A350F would be the first freighter manufactured with the latest generation of carbon fiber jets, a new variant launch depends on identifying enough buyers willing to take a chance that cargo demand will remain high as we come out of the worst year in aviation history. Industry sources estimate that Airbus would need commitments for at least 50 aircraft to go ahead with a launch at an estimated development cost of 2 to $3 billion. Airbus dipped its toe in the wide-body freighter waters before, but pulled the plug on a freighter version of its A380 Super Jumbo almost 15 years ago and hasn't had a freighter order in its pipeline since December when Turkey's MNG Airlines canceled three A330 freighters. Meanwhile, Boeing has delivered 202 of the rival 777 freighters compared with only 38 of the A330 cargo version and Boeing 747 freighters have dominated all other orders with more than 260 delivered. However, Airbus still needs to continue to look over its shoulder at Boeing because they too are drawing up plans to build a carbon composite freighter also based on the 787 airframe. But the biggest challenge for both Boeing and Airbus alike will be the large cargo door installation. Cutting composite materials pose different challenges than aluminum, especially in the support structure around the door. They could make the cargo door out of aluminum, that would solve the problem, right? Not necessarily, because unlike carbon composite material, aluminum reacts to thermal influences differently. With aluminum, you have the expansion and contraction that occurs in hot and cold temperatures. So there are some challenges to overcome. I reached out to Addison Schoenlin, partner and co-founder of Air Insight Group, and asked him about the carbon composite question, and he thinks Airbus has an advantage over Boeing. Something I talked about in my last video about the 787 fuselage defects. How by building their carbon composite A350 after Boeing, Airbus was able to improve the design of their concept due to a different manufacturing process. Schoenlin said, think of how the A350 is built. It's not all one tube like the 787. That means its ribs make it very strong and possibly easier to convert. Since Airbus is likely to do this internally, they clearly have no concerns about it. And that's good news for Airbus and kind of bad news for Boeing. The 787 is built as a singular tube which adds to the difficulty of cutting the door access. Whereas Schoenlin points out, the Airbus is essentially built in the same fashion as an aluminum aircraft. It's built in segments that are then attached to the rib structure. Thus, Airbus can simply prefabricate the door as an individual panel and add it to the structure as it would any other panel. So then it appears that Airbus offering an A350 freighter version is not an if, but a when. Richard Evans, senior consultant at UK-based Ascend by Serum said, given the A350 production rate has been cut and the cargo market is the one bright spot in the wide body market, one would have to say that the likelihood of an A350 freighter has increased compared to a year ago. But he added, while not imminent, a launch could jog Boeing into reacting with a freighter version of its larger 777X. Once they get the bugs worked out, that is. So what are your thoughts on an Airbus freighter? Is it a good idea? If so, do you think they can compete with Boeing? Let me know down below. Hey, I have a question for you. You know in videos when YouTube clowns like me ask you to hit that subscribe button, which to be honest is the lifeblood of a YouTube channel. But take a look at this. YouTube gives us all kinds of stats about our channels, but this one always amazes me. This is the watch time for a 28 day period. Only 14.2% of watch time comes from subscribers. Thank you. 
But look at this, 85.9% of watch time comes from people who don't subscribe. That's strange, right? But I know you're saying, come on YouTube clown, you have tons of subscribers, what are you crying about? I know that's true and I appreciate each and every one of you. But I have to be honest, I'm really insecure and I need to be loved. I need it! So show old Maximus some love and spank that subscribe button if you haven't already. Yeah, there you go. Well, that'll wrap it up for me. But before you go, make sure you subscribe, like, share, and ring that bell. And remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time in the air. Yeah, this is Maximus.